my loves and welcome to today's ASOS winter haul. So, <coughs> excuse my voice, I am feeling, I actually feel fine, but I've got a sniffle and as you can tell, my voice is a little bit weird. Um, but other than that, we're all good. So I hope you do enjoy today's video. If you do, hit that thumbs up. If you're really happy that this guy started to blow his leaves outside my house and you can hear them in the background, thanks for that, mate. Thank you. Um, but we're gonna get on with it anyway. I am going skiing. Me and Reese have booked a last minute ski holiday. So I've also picked up a few little ski inspired bits, um, but mostly like some knitwear and some sort of like comfy lounge stuff for just general day to day wear. So yeah, I'm excited to share these bits with you. I haven't done an ASOS haul in so long. I haven't ordered stuff from there for ages. I literally go on ASOS, I get super overwhelmed and I don't order anything or I know exactly the one thing I wanna get and then occasionally I chuck a few extra bits in my basket, but I don't often browse ASOS. So yeah, and I do think after taking some of the pieces out of the packets, it's very hit and miss. So I'm intrigued to see what you guys think and I'm excited to try some of them on actually and see how they fit on. And before we get into today's video, I'm just gonna start by sharing with you today's sponsor, which is HelloFresh. HelloFresh is actually a company I've used personally before, um, we've worked together now and I did love them then and I do love them now because I tell you what, I'm trying to think of new recipes, like sometimes it's just the last thing on your mind, you can't be bothered and you just end up cooking the same thing over and over and it's really quite boring. So HelloFresh gets delivered directly to your door. You can order however many meals you want per week for two, three or four people. Um, and they come with these fabulous recipe cards where you can see exactly how many calories are in it, what's in it, the nutritional value, and a step-by-step -step guide on how to make the meals, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's very, very easy to follow and really easy to just create like delicious home-cooked meals at home. I do have a discount code, so I'll pop that on the screen. And also you can scan how fancy this QR code um, and get 60% off your first box. Um, all the other details are down below in the description box. Um, and here you can see three of the meals I made this week that were just absolutely divine. Let's start off actually with a ski piece. Um, now I got inspired by this. I didn't even know ASOS did ski wear. Um, my lady who does my eyebrows, who's an absolute queen, she's also going skiing. So we've been talking all things ski wear. And she was like, I've ordered this jacket from ASOS. I don't know what it's going to be like. And she said it came and she's quite petite. I'm five foot nine and a size 12. So I'm a lot bigger, a lot more like broad than her. She's quite short, petite, just in general. I reckon she's probably like a size six. And um, she said this was way too puffy and big for her and just drowned her. Now I can see what she means. It definitely does add, it's like puffy. So it adds bulk. However, I do really love this jacket. It feels great quality. It's got a lovely soft like bog faux fur inside the neckline which will keep like all around here warm hasn't got a hood but if you're someone who wears a helmet um skiing you're not really going to need a hood the only time you would need one is like if you are out and you weren't actually skiing um and it did start to snow it has also guys like i was wondering how good ski wear would be from like different brands that weren't ski wear brands because i've only ever shopped ski wear brands for skiing stuff but it has actually got like all the bells and whistles. It's got the hand bits with the thumb holes. Um, it's got the ski skirt inside. I think it's got a place for your lift pass. Yeah, it's got a zip for the lift pass. And it's actually got a really soft, like warm bit at the back as well. It says it's a breathable fabric. It's waterproof um, and ideal for variable winter conditions. So it's actually from the Topshop range on um, ASOS and I think you guys will probably know they've just relaunched like a huge they've had a huge relaunch so i'm excited to see like some other of the pieces that are from there, the quality and see if there's any sort of noticeable difference so it's from this snow brand and i did also pick up this um like neck warmer to go with it which i do think is really cute and really really good you know if, like you've got a, quite a plain black ski attire cute and like a little bit of fashion in there so i have actually got one of them all in one pieces i'm really excited to try on because i've been trying to find one that's long enough in the body for me so i have ordered it in a tall and a regular just to see because sometimes the tall on some websites i'm like sorry I, like are we ordering this for a giraffe or like five foot nine is included i know it's like the lower part of the tall section but 
they're beyond. Some of them are beyond. So I did order both just in case that was the case. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but I thought like this would look really cute with like the all in one. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes, but really, really cute. And I think both of these were in the sale. I'll get you prices. So the Snow Snood was £22. Oh, I had a discount code that I used. And I think you can still use it. I think it's Jan 20. Um, and I think it gives you 20% off. So with the discount, it was obviously cheaper. But the, the coat is coming up as 130 I don't think I'm going to keep the coat because I did feel like it does make me feel bigger than I am. And I know I want to feel confident in it. So for that reason, I probably will send it back. Okay, next, I've been seeing so many of these. I'm actually wearing one today as well. These like half zip jumpers. I really like them. This one um, is from a brand called What The Brand. I don't know if you guys will have heard of it, but um, you can shop it over on my Instagram. And I just think it's really, really lovely. It's like the first loungewear set or like jogger, sweat suit, sweat suit shirt suit what the hell am i trying to say sweatpants set i don't know that i've ever had that isn't bulky and doesn't make me feel bigger than i am um so for that reason i love it i do think the, the color is like a little bit different it's called a praline color and then it's also like got really nice motivational writing like around here and i've got the matching bottoms on and it's a bit on the bum as well so i i fancied a few more pieces like this um this is from bershka but on asos and I did order this in a large because I want it long enough to wear with leggings. So I want this as like um, a comfy, everyday, slouchy kind of piece, but also maybe like to wear on the mountain. Had that in mind. Um, and yeah, I do think this is actually perfect. It's, it's, a, it's a good length. It's not gonna be like super long, too long, but it's long enough. And I think by getting it in the large, I, I definitely got the right size for having it like that slightly oversized but not like drown you kind of look. So that one was $29.99 and like I said, you can get the discount. <clears throat> okay, so I've got some Uggs and I've been styling them a lot recently but I really like them with that like little sock detail at the top. So I picked up these pairs of really nice like just chunky um, knit socks. These ones are gonna be perfect with it. These ones will be great I think with a black Ugg or a gray Ugg. Whereas obviously these I think will look good with like the chestnut Uggs. Um, or any of those styles of Ugg. I also really like these styled with the Boston Birkenstocks. So I've seen a lot of people wear them like with a sock and it's not something I've tried to style yet, but I'm thinking I might try and style it with these um, and a jean, see how it goes. Um, let me know if you, you guys have seen that look and you like it or you're just like, hey, what are you on about? Like, there is not a shoe. I think they can be a winter shoe as well. Um, but yeah, two pairs of socks for £10, so £5 each, I don't think it's too bad. I did actually think from the picture that there was four, but I think what they did was like folded up the four in total socks. So I did in my mind think I was having four pairs of socks for £10, which was great, but I only got two. But anywho, next I picked up this jumper, and there's a few pieces in this. When I was unpacking them, I was a little bit disappointed with. However, the quality of this is really lovely. I just don't really like the fleck like mixed color detail. I feel like I want it to just be like a one color. So it's like a beigey oatmeal color. And I think if it was just like a basic one tone, I'd have loved it with the writing on. Um, it's ASOS Designs, so ASOS own brand. And I do think the shape and size and fit of it is really, really nice. I just personally don't like the actual color tone of it. Um, I think, yeah, if it was a different color, I would like it. I was thinking this for like, again, like just a really casual, easy look with like New Balance, um, some longer socks, trainers, that kind of vibe, gilet over the top. Um, just like a nice everyday, a bit like the Annie Bing style, but without the price point, because I just feel like they are super pricey. And my nail lady yesterday, who, she's a babe, did say, she's ordered, she was like, I took the plunge, I ordered one. And she was like, I don't get the hype. Like it's no better quality than like the one she said she's got from my like H&M and stuff. So. That makes me happy that I don't need to spend £200 or £100 on an anything hoodie because they are everywhere at the minute and I do really like them. They, they do them some lovely colours, they're really nice designs. But I just don't think you need to spend that kind of money. So this one I think is around £20 to £30. It's £30, oh no, it's £28. And like I said, I had a discount off it as well. So it's like 20 under, just under £25. Um, so yeah, I do really like it, but... It's not the one because of the colour. 
And while we're on like sweatshirts, I may as well show you this one as well. I also picked up this one, which is from the Premium Topshop collection. Um, and again, the quality of this is lovely. The softness on the inside is an absolute dream. If this was just like gray, I would love it. Or if it was just beige, but again, it's got like that, it's got like a fleck through that I really just don't like. It's got this gray fleck. I mean, it probably would make it a lot easier to style. I could probably could wear it with a lot more things, but I just don't love it. I guess like from afar, I feel like from afar it looks nice, but like close up I'm like, well you look like you've washed it with a black wash and it got a bit flecky in the, in the wash. But the softness and the quality is lovely. It's got like a little bit of back arm detail as well um, and back detail. It's £32, so I think that's quite well priced. I might have a look if they've got any other colours of those, like maybe just a plain black one or plain white would be really nice. Um, I don't want to be negative, Nancy, but I'm just going to get us a few things out of the way that I really... <laughs> I opened them out of the bag and I was like, what? what is going on? This is horrible. Like, the quality is rank. The colour is like a pinky cream. It might be coming up right on camera because it feel, I feel like it looks like it is, but it's not. You know, like, just really cheap, nasty material. I feel like that's what this is, so avoid this at all costs. Um, I can even sort of like smell how cheap it is. So I'm gonna go with a no with this one. I was just looking for some like nice chunky knit jumpers to wear on my apres ski, after my skiing or like, you know, like under my coat, but this is not the one. Actually like when I'm looking at it like this doesn't look so bad and probably on like won't look so bad, but it just does feel like it might start squeaking. Oh, I also picked up, I've never, like I've skied quite a bit and I've never had snow boots. Whoop. I do like the idea of moon boots, but the really long ones, they're just not my kind of vibe. I feel like I've got the long enough legs for it, but it's just not me. So I was like, hmm, also don't want to spend that kind of money on something I'm not sure I'm going to wear hugely. Um, so I picked up these, which were in the sale, 20 something pound. Um, I picked them up in two shades. I'll show you the other shade in a minute, but I haven't actually taken them out of the bag because they're all scratched and marked inside the bag. So they'll be good back. So anyway, I picked up the black ones. They also come in pure white and pure black. But I thought, even though I know snow is white, when it gets muddy, like it gets dirty. So I was like, it's just not worth it. Like black is so much more practical. You can tell I've passed 30 now because I'm thinking about practicality over fashion. <laughs> um, and I would have loved like an all neutral white look, but it's just not the one. I also definitely would have gone for like a more neutral white look in the ski wear too, if I didn't, wasn't. The thing is, you're just gonna be so paranoid all the time. You're gonna be like, oh, can you check my bum? Like, what's, like, have I sat in something? It's just not worth it. It's not worth it, guys. Um, so yeah, I picked up these. I haven't tried them on yet. Um, so I'll do, when I do the little cutaway here, I'll either give you like a thumbs up or thumbs down regarding the sizing and the fit. I picked them up in a large and I'm a seven to eight wide fit. Um, and they're from the Truffle collection. I've actually had a few pairs of shoes from Truffle before. Um, and they were great, like they're quite cheap, quite, you know, pay what you get really with them. But if you want something that's like, they do often do a lot of like dupes of designer shoes and stuff like that. So, although this year I am actually trying to go away from the dupes and actually just say to myself, right, if you really want something, work hard and invest in it for yourself rather than buying like a plasticky, cheapy, version that's not as good quality is a rip off of the actual brand and the design and you just don't feel as nice when you wear it like when i wear a real converse as opposed to like a converse dupe there's a different feeling and it's the same with like an ugg when you wear a real ugg and you wear an ugg dupe it's a, there's a different feeling so this is the year where i buy less oh i buy less hopefully she says um and only really keep or invest in pieces that are really good quality and are exactly what I want, not a lesser version of the thing that I really want. Um, luckily, I'm not into like designer handbags or anything like that too much. So it's not gonna break my bank balance, but I have seen a lot of very nice trainers recently um, and a few, yeah, just like nice bits online that I think, right, well, if we're gonna do this, let's do it properly kind of thing. And that's how I'm feeling about fashion moving into 2023. This is actually our first haul of 2023. That's quite exciting. Oh no, there was a Zara one. Never mind. There was a Zara one with some ski bits in, which if you've not seen, was actually a really great haul. So make sure you go and watch that afterwards. 
Um, okay, again, I've not tried these on, so check for me in here, the cutaway, to see if it's a yay or a nay. Going on to the ski suits then, wow, the quality feels beautiful. Um, so I picked one up from Zara, and I have to say the quality wasn't as heavy as this, didn't feel as good quality. I would say it feels quite thin, but I'm assuming it's very windproof. Um, the hood on here is not adjustable or detachable, um, but it is a nice big hood. It's got a nice, like, um, furry bit. Lovely bit in the, around the waist to cinch you in. And this one does look a little bit more expensive. So I was saying this the other day, like, all black look is quite classy, isn't it? But sometimes, if it's a little bit... If you just get it a little bit wrong, it looks a little bit just boring as opposed to classy. Whereas I feel like this actually does look classy. So I'm really hoping this is great on. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep this or should I return it? Um, this is the tall one. And this was, I think, 130, which I don't think is bad for ski wear. Like ski wear in itself is quite pricey. Yeah, 130, both the tall and the regular. And I'm sure they do do a petite are 130 which i think for an all-in-one honestly you're actually going to pay a lot less than if you're going to buy two separates because it costs a bit more but the fact that these fashion brands are now doing stuff like this does mean that we're hopefully going to get things at more affordable price because like my last ski jacket i bought five years ago was 350 pound my saddle pets were 200 pound that's five years ago i bought them myself maybe my mum bought my saddle pets i can't remember I definitely bought the jacket myself and I felt really proud of myself. <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought anything that's that expensive. Like, I wouldn't spend that on designer things, but, well, I would if I really wanted it, but it's not something I've ever done. Like, I've never actually spent that kind of money. Like, I'm actually a really, which probably might come as a surprise to people, like, I'm a very sensible spender <laughs> and saver. And, like, I, if I'm going to make a purchase, I've, like, really thought it through before I do it, unless it's, like, 20 quid. I am, like, I think things through. I'm not really a splurger or a... Um, impulse buyer at all like I really have to think things through and have to love them to keep them and then I picked up two jumpers exactly the same these are actually men's but I don't really I can see some men wearing them but I just felt like they'd look really cute over leggings and Uggs um, or like with some trainers just really can't feel like slouchy everyday jumpers um, and I love this forest green at the minute I'm really really enjoying it so if it's like just kind of holding on to a bit of Christmas time. But they were both on the sale and I just thought I'd pick them both up um, and style them a few different ways just to see. I also like the idea of this with like some mom jeans and then like some dad trainers and um, that kind of like preppy look. Um, and I picked this one up in an extra large and this one in a large because like I said, I wanted them oversized but I didn't know how oversized they were gonna be or how big. So um, again, you'll see in the category how they fit. Let me know if you like them. Let me know what you think. Um, and then, um, okay, I've got a few more little bits to share with you. This jumper I had high expectations for, but again, I feel like this bit here looks like you've like put it on the wrong wash. It's got like the black coming through. Like that would have looked nicer, but it's got the black coming through. It looks like gray and a bit washed out here, which is such a shame because the top half of this jumper is lovely. Again, I was looking for something like to be on the mountains, super cute and snowy, like maybe just with my black saddle pet or like that rolled down. Um, just like a really cute, casual jumper. The softness and the quality of it is lovely. It's from a company called Noisy May. I picked it up in a size medium. As you can see, it's quite nice and oversized. It's got little cute little cuffs on the sleeves. I do actually really like it. It's just that section there. I just feel like, why could it not either just be that colour or, or not, you know? So I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but <laughs> I feel like it's been a, a bit of a hit and miss uh, haul in total. So the ASOS jumpers, the other two I just shared with, with you, were £22.40. And that jumper, which is like a really soft knit, is £44. I also did pick up, I'm not going to show you these for long because they were just like chucking them in last minute, two little like long gym tops. But I can almost see, I think they might be a little bit too small on the bust. They got them in a medium, I have to go up to a large. But So the other ones I picked up of the shoe are these leopard print. And they're a really nice like brown and black rather than like chabby leopard print, which I like. However, like, look at this. Can you see it? This. I just think, like, how bad quality control is this? Like, as soon as I took out the packets, what I saw, this is not the plastic. This is underneath on the boot. Like, that is poor quality. Poor. Very, very poor. 
So not super happy with that. And I also picked up, Reese has been looking for some trainers. So I did pick him up these. Now he's a bit of a brand snob, so I'm not sure of like, like I just like what I like. I'm not really fast on like brands or whatever it says, like I said earlier. I'm not sure if he'll like these or not. Let me know what you guys think. I think they're really nice. Like if I was a guy, I'm like, these are a perfect trainer for like so many different looks. I think they're lush and they were really good price. But I do, like I said, I don't know because they're Puma if he will be a bit brown snobby and be like, nah, it's a bit chabby. But I feel like it is trying to have a bit of a comeback. Let me know what you guys think about Puma as a brand. Um, and that is everything from today's haul. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave me a comment down below. If you loved anything, or if you're like, Kate, okay, you have to keep that. Let me know. Equally, anything you're like, what is that? Let me know, because I love hearing from you guys. Um, I also wanted to just briefly remind you guys of the HelloFresh offer that I mentioned at the start of today's video. Um, if you are looking to, whatever your goals are really, they do have something, it's great. Like, yeah, they have easy meals, um, like quick meals, like under 20 minutes. They do low calorie options and they also do vegetarian as well if you're doing like meat-free um, January. You also can get my discount, which I'll leave on the screen, um, which is an amazing discount. And it's such a, just like a great thing. You're like in January, you're like, right, I'm sick of the meals we cook. I want something new, I want something fresh. And I love the fact there's no waste with them. Like that's my favorite thing is like, you actually waste no food. And the portion sizes, they're huge. Like me and Reese are foodies and we eat a lot, but the portion sizes on the HelloFresh meals, I was so shocked with. Like they're great portion sizes. So I would like me, typical me, it would be like, oh, I'm not sure how big they're gonna be, if they're gonna be enough, you know? Like you could probably have leftovers. Like we didn't because we eat a lot, but you could have leftovers with them. So I just wanted to thank them again for sponsoring today's video and make sure if you did want to shop them, use my discount code and the links to shop will be in the description box as will everything else from today's video. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.